<laughs> I can't find it, Craig. I can't either. I can't find it. They swear they be reading when they be saying, "Oh, you old, you old bitch." bitch you better hope that you get there, Miss Thing. You, you better hope that we're not the ones that have to pronounce you dead, girl. On fact, huh? They try to find your motherfucking aggressor. Okay. They kill me saying that. It's like, but you know what I know? I realize when people do that, it's because they're afraid of getting older. They're concerned. Of, listen, bitch, I'm, it's, I'm grateful because a lot of you children didn't make it for various reasons. Various. The supermarket sweep. <laughs> the DL faggies. Girl, the drug overdoses. Girl, the partying girl. Girl, the drunk driving. Well, you done drunk all night at the Bulldogs and done hit a tree. Girl. <laughs> Girl. Girl, let's not do this. You got, I got, you got Greg spilling water on me. I got it all over my shirt. <laughs> Girl, we're not going to do this. They be tearing us up for us being older. Girl, you young girls can never serve the girls. Of, the girl. Yeah. I, of course our bill is going to come out to $1,500, $2,000. Now, how much you going to leave? I, of course I'm going to leave about three. Uh -huh. About $300 for <laughs> right. So that's what I'm saying. So I'm a 20% kind of guy. Now, if your service is bad, then you might get 15, you might get 10. But my thing is this, and when we're, and, and we're black people, we tip. We know that some of you tip. We're talking about overall. The guy in that video is talking about generally speaking. Generally speaking, black people don't tip. And you know who else don't tip? Old white people. They're going to leave you a dollar or two. I worked at well, Shoney's. Well, that's, what they, that's, what, that's what the children are used to give. Right? That's what I'm trying to tell you. They, they're, they're from a different generation. They might be slightly racist. But also, you know, it's just like you got to think about it. When you go to a restaurant, black folks going to work the shit out of a server. First of all, you're going to run them back and forth. I don't like going to eat with people like that. You're not going to run the server back and forth. I don't need them spitting in my shit because you done ran them back for napkins and ketchup and sweet tea and you need a little more ice. Bitch, consolidate the trips. Ask him for everything you need when he come the first time. Craig, come on. When we go out to eat, when we show up to the motherfucking place, those, yeah. people, those people be excited. Because yeah. they know that their tip is either going to start at 50. If it's a nice right, it's going to start at 50. Right. And it can go up. Correct. If it's Applebee's, it's going to start at 20. It can go up or down. Yeah. So what do you what do you do about the the restaurants that already add the gratuity? Well, then you just get that. Yeah. If the it. tip is built now, if you, in, if you a motherfucker, see, this is how you fuck up your blessing. Yeah. Because if you already not added your tip in, and I feel some type of way about you, that's all you got. No, bitch, you better keep your receipt too, because I don't throw my receipt away until I see that shit hit my bank account. You are definitely glad it's his daughter, because <laughs> this motherfucker. This is when Justin's restaurant was still open. Puffy <laughs> had that restaurant over there in Peachtree. Oh, remember that? Bitch, that server tried to go in and give himself an additional tip, and I had looked at my receipt. Oh, I, I don't worry about it, because I usually pay with my American Express. <laughs> Y'all know, know I tell my American Express stories like a motherfucker. Listen. I'll tip with my, I used to play with my American Express. You see my American Express come out, know that you have better, you had better done me right. Correct. you had better done me well. Because I'm definitely over there like, oh. <laughs> and there's why a lot of people don't play with American Express because American Express. Is, they will pull that shit back. They are truly. For the consumer. For their consumer. They are truly about the consumer, bitch. They don't play. And so I held on to that receipt, and I called up there the next day. I said, um, this is not what I left that server. I was able to give them the transaction number off my receipt, and they kindly ran me my money back. <laughs> but black folks don't like the tip. And like he said in that video, when, you're, when you have a black server, some black customers... It's like they want to they want to make you earn your money. They want to run you back and forth. They want to ask a lot. They ain't never satisfied. And I think some of you, some of you are looking for reasons to come down to, to chip away at the tip. Oh, yeah. She took too long to bring my napkins. Yeah. So that here go two dollars off. I'm taking two dollars. Bitch, you ain't playing on tipping no motherfucking way. But Craig, right. this is why I say I start at 20. I start at 20. Uh-huh. You're going to get $20 anyway. And see, here's my thing. People saying, well, I'm too, I'm too broke to go to, to be tipping. But then stay your ass home and don't eat out. It's, I think it's unfair to be running people back and forth for refills and ice and bringing you napkins and plates and forks and shit if you can't afford to leave a tip. That's a part of the experience. That's it. Yeah. Girl, you tipping everybody. I now, now, some of this tipping shit has gotten out of hand, bitch. <laughs> now, when I go to a restaurant, and when I say restaurant, I mean that loosely. 
Salada is one of my places that I like. I go, it's kind of like a Chipotle, but it's all vegetables and it's shit. It's all like grass. That. Correct. Okay. So I get my tomatoes, they make it my bowl, da 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 da. They got tips up there for them. Girl, you ain't did nothing but ring up on the cash register. Why well, I got the tip, everybody? Some of this tipping shit has gotten out well, of Now, those I give $2 to. Two or three. Maybe a dollar. I mean, when you get to the hotel, you got to tip the person to take your bags up. I do that. Correct. Now, that I do. I'm not tipping the people at the front desk. Yeah. When you get to the airport, the people outside taking the bags, they want to tip. Well, I, bitch, well no, why I, do people, well, wait, why Mary, do people, Mary just tip those why things. do people, and I'm not saying I don't, if I have cash, I will tip the people on the curb, but why are they getting the tip? The bitch inside at the counter in the heat and the AC ain't getting no tip. Right. But they I, doing the same thing, putting your bag on that, on that belt. My Paul Vu Francais Poissons, would you enjoy us having a live fag talk over there, honey? We have some okay. fag talk in the, in the great city of Paris. Right. In Guy, Paris. Girl, we need to get over there to London, too. Call your... Girl, listen now. I liked the London when I went. Call your friend when we get out here, Craig. Mm -hmm. Tell him to set it up, honey. Right. And we'll fly over there. Mocha, Mocha just he can handle the the assets from here remotely. <laughs> he don't need to go with us. Since we Americans are lazy, mm -hmm. he can stay here and just tear to the field. Uh huh. Or legal strategy. Mm hmm. I never said Americans are lazy. So, but if that's what y'all heard. That I guess. Well, the Maddie Bob saw what you said. Because I said The African, Maddie Bob saw what you said. Because and the, I said, and the pimp African, saw what you said. I said Africans over there that have not been here could usually believe that Americans are lazy because if you're not able to be successful, especially coming from where they came from, and which is usually nothing, and you coming over and you have the opportunities you and they believe that you have all the opportunities over here and you still haven't made it. Well, let me tell you what you relate to them. You tell them that we tied, bitch. We came over here and built the White House and everything in between. The Chinese people did the railroads. White people ain't did shit. What point? Okay, and made it right. And gave directions, bitch. Lay it down, nigga. Right. And if we didn't move fast enough, they whipped us. Nigga, get out and lay that shit over there. I don't give a fuck because your bet gave out. Okay, we had to work re re in the rain, the snow. In the, in the middle of all that shit, give me your children. Right. <laughs> we'll hold live for ransom until you finish that wall. Shit. Nigga. And then they took our intellectual property. You know Jack Daniels is made by a slave. Oh, I did not know that. But it's a white family that owns it. Oh, so many things. You like peanut butter? That's black owned too. It was invented by a, a, by a black. Yes, I know you, you know what else is invented by black? A black. What is it? The light bulb. Ooh. That too. But guess what else? What's that? What else? Vaccinations. Oh. It was a slave. Oh yes, his name was Osimus. All of the police out there, I may be saying it wrong, but he was a slave. And this is when smallpox, I think, was devastating the country. Mm -hmm. He lived up in Boston. I believe it was in Boston. He was he was owned by a slave owner in Boston. Mm -hmm. And because he was fresh out of Africa, Mo. Uh -huh. They knew how to quarantine the virus, and so they used, started doing vaccinations. So smallpox was devastating the white people. Uh -huh. It was killing them. Well, this black slave came and tried to teach them how to create vaccinations. And he thought that if he gave them this intel, that they would give him, give him the, his freedom. Oh, kind of like the, like the Africans thought if they gave us these niggas. That's right. But it didn't. Correct. But it didn't. He <laughs> taught them crackers how to do vaccinations. And that's how we do that's how we got COVID vaccination now and all these other vaccinations. But they still made him be a slave. They still kept him as a slave. See how they do? There's plenty of other stories like that. A lot of beatings with Henry him. Henrietta Lacks. She's from Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Every medical major breakthrough came through that lady's cells, a black woman. Yes, if trying to fight cancer through that, her. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Henrietta. And her family ain't getting no money either. Mm -hmm. My God. My so you see, white people, when you say that you've you've earned everything, no, you've stolen for us uh, from us. We don't have shit because you took it from us.